We live in a world filled with organic creatures, millions of species of plants, bacteria, viruses, and animals. They are manifestly the products of evolution by natural selection. But we also live in a world filled with cultural artifacts which are incredibly diverse. Songs and dance and art and sculpture and so on. How did they come to be? What makes art? We think that all this cultural diversity is also the product of a process very much like evolution by natural selection. And that's especially true of music. Pygmies will sing complicated little polyphonic melodies. Eskimos will be grunting on a rock. And then you have the tradition of Western and Asian art music. You have a Bach cantata, you have a Mahler's symphony, you have pop music and rock and roll, techno, and then all the different fusion genres that give us the diversity of song in the world that we see. All of this, we think, is due to a natural selection-like process. And we've devised an experiment to test that. And that experiment has been devised by Dr. Bob McCullum. Hi, thanks Armand. I'm Bob, I'm going to tell you about Darwin Tunes, the technology, and also a little bit about the experiment that we're doing. So Darwin Tunes is an evolutionary algorithm which is basically something that tries to be the same as evolution in the wild, but we do it in the computer. And at the heart of the algorithm we have a population of songs. Now they're very short songs, and they're really just four bar loops, so we'll call them loops. And we take this population of loops and we find out which are the best loops. And we take those best loops and we let them get together and make baby loops. And we put the baby loops back into the population and then we, the parents die and we start again by looking at the, now it's a population of baby loops. And we see which, one of the, which ones of those are best and we take those, they get together, make baby loops and it goes on and on and on. The trick is, how do, we find, how do we know which of these small pieces of music are better than the others? There's no way to do that with computers. We'll be asking you guys to help us uh, provide the ratings for the music. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. Here we go. So the first thing is, students please click on register, fill in the form, and um, we will confirm your registration by email and then when you've got your registration confirmation log in I'm going to pretend to be a student log in and then you need to head to the participate page and we get this page here the important thing here is to connect to the connect to the live music stream by clicking on this button this should bring up your media player. On a Mac with iTunes, you can click the green button to make a mini player like this. The next important thing is you need to be able to see the loop numbers. Here it says loop 91. Watch the loop numbers and tell us what you think about each loop. This one sounds OK, so we'll click It's OK. Now it's loop 15, so we click there and we say yes, it was loop 15 that was OK. And then we carry on. So the next loop. Well, that doesn't sound very good at all, so we'll say I don't like it. And which one was it? It was loop 80. That's all there is to know. Have fun. We really look forward to um, seeing how it all goes. Back to Armand. The question is what are we going to find? And the answer is we don't know. But that is the beauty of science, indeed the beauty of evolution.